action. Chain rule part two. Um, we've got a bracket, so we use chain rule. So we all know something's outside. We have to change first and then copy the bracket. So I copy the bracket twice whenever I use chain rule and then put a D in the middle. That means I remind myself I need to differentiate the inner part. So I copy the question first. Okay, I copy the bracket twice first. Okay, so 2x cubed. I don't do anything in the bracket in the first part or first step. I won't do anything in the bracket. Uh, only do the things outside the bracket. So this course, when I check the equation or the formula sheet, it will change to scene. Okay, so this is what I have to change. All right, for, uh, for the first step. And the next step is you have to differentiate this part at the back. So I'll copy everything that I did just now. And then I differentiate the 2x cubed, which will give me 6x to the power of 2. All right, and then you probably, the differentiation part is done. And what you need to do is bring the 6x squared front, to the front with the negative to make your answer look better. Okay, so this is chain rule. Okay, sometimes you need to check the formula sheet to see oh, how do I change the cost to something else. All right, now I'm going to show you another question which is very similar to this one. Okay, so this time I've got an e here to the power of 2x to the power of 3. The same thing, this time the bracket is on the top. Sometimes they don't give you a bracket and you can think of a bracket yourself. Okay, so a bracket inside and a bracket out, uh, something outside. And now I'm going to copy the bracket. Now this is small bracket, so I make a very small uh, for the second line here. I just make it very small because it is small. So I just copy it exactly the same size as what I have from the question. And now I go to the formula sheet and change and see e what would it be when I differentiate e. And then I find out when I differentiate e, it will give me the same e. It will not change at all. That means I will not change the e. I put it back to where it is, and also the index never didn't change for e. So I just copy it. And now the next step is differentiate this part. Okay. It doesn't matter how small it is. I just do it normally. So three, bring it down to the two, becomes six x. So this is six x squared. And now this part I just copied in the front, e to x to the power 3. Beware this 2x to the power 3 is an index. This 6x squared is not an index. They just have a multiplication relationship between these two brackets. And then you can get the answer, which just make it look better. 6x squared in the front, e to x cubed at the back. And you're done. Thank you.